everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today I'm back with another eCraft Shop Pro video and today we are going to be doing um, some cutouts for my son's birthday invitations and we're going to be cutting this out of vinyl and I'm using a 12 inch wide piece of vinyl but since I have so many invitations to make I am actually going to cut them all in one pass on one long sheet of vinyl now the vinyl that I'm using does come on a roll but it does not fit the end caps for the eCraft don't fit on this roll so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut off a long enough sheet from my roll and feed that in through the front and I'm going to show you how you can do that here with the eCraft Shop Pro software now when we first open up the software it automatically defaults to this 12 by 12 mat which is the most common size that um, you're going to be using but if you want to have a longer um, mat what you have to do is actually open up a new project and there's two ways to do that and I'm going to show you the first way here first it's just by clicking on this new project icon here and that will give you this box here where you can now put in the width and the height of the mat that you want to work with. Now I know from, that I need approximately about 36 inches in length. So I'm going to have a 12 by 36 inch mat and I'm going to click OK here. And you'll see up here that we are now on another a new project. And if I scroll all the way down, we're down at 36 inches for the length. So now we're going to go ahead and put the um, design that we want to use on our mat. And I am doing um, Darth Vader today. My son is having a Star Wars theme for his birthday party. So I found this file uh, from a blog and I can't remember the name of it now off the top of my head. But I will make sure to post it on my blog. So if you want to go and uh, get this file you can. I did modify this file so it's not exactly like what you'll get from um, this person because she actually had it as a shaped card and we decided that we weren't going to do a shaped card for these birthday invitations because we're kind of running a little bit late and we need to get them done as quickly as possible. So what I just did there was I copy and pasted Darth Vader a couple times and lined him up so that I got a row of three of him. Now I'm going to select my arrow button here and I'm going to click and drag over all the Darth Vaders and when I release you'll see that all three of them are selected and I'm going to go ahead and do a path union on them. Uh, path union is um, used a lot for welding but it also can be for joining. So by joining the three of them together like this I can now copy and paste the entire row. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste a bunch of times here. I've got 9 Darth Vader's. There's 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. And I need about 25 invitations, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out 27 Darth Vader's. And it does give me enough of a margin here at the end of my mat so that the rollers will not lose grip of the vinyl when it's cutting so that's always very important that you make sure you leave at least I say an inch and a half margin but two inches is even better especially when you're working with a thinner material like vinyl so now that we've got all of these Darth Vader's loaded on the mat we're gonna go ahead and switch over to um, the eCraft and get this all cut out so that you can see um, how this works when we're we're actually loading it through the front and, and not using roll mode but we can do that even with a long sheet of paper like this you don't have to use roll um, especially if your roll does not fit on the end caps so I'll see you in a couple minutes Okay, everybody, back, and I'm about to cut out the Darth Vader's. Um, I've got a piece, a very long piece of vinyl loaded into my eCraft. It's approximately three feet long. I cut it off my roll because the tubes on the rolls of my vinyl are smaller than the roll end cap, so I can't use that um, 
with this particular vinyl. So I went ahead and I loaded it in through the front and I'm going to go ahead and continue cutting from the front. Um, so I do have um, front selected for my cutting mode. And let's see. Let's go back to my tab. Oh, there I was at. My tabs are at zero. Okay, so I think we're all set. I'm going to go over my computer here now and go ahead and tell it to cut to the heat craft. Now, if you've cut with the e-craft before, then you know that what's cutting out here first are the Darth Vader's that are at the very top of my mat, and they're actually going to come upside down. Um, and then it should go through and cut out the rest of the entire sheet so that I can cut out all my Darth Vader's at once from this uh, sheet of vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and um, probably pause the video here right now and we'll come back when we get closer to the end of it so you don't have to sit here and watch all of these get printed out because I think I set up about 27 on the mat to cut so it'll take a little while. So we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we are now on the last row of the Darth Vader's, and as you can kind of see here is that I've got a very long sheet of vinyl sticking out the front, and now you can see I have just a little bit in the back left. Um, this worked beautifully cutting a long sheet of vinyl like this from the front, so if you have a roll that won't fit on the rollers, um, you know, Cut off the, the length of the piece that you need and, and feed it through the front because that has worked absolutely beautifully with this and I could not be happier with it at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and get these feeded and I've got uh, accent pieces to cut here yet and I'll be back to show you the final product. Thanks so much. Have a great day everybody. This is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com.